All right, so our next uh, topic uh, is uh, stoichiometry. Now, stoichiometry at its heart is just numerical calculations involving chemicals or chemical reactions. Okay, so numerical calculations involving compounds or chemical reactions. Now technically we've already done some stoichiometric calculations and we did like uh, percent by mass calculations for compounds. Um, we took the stoichiometric ratio of the individual elements into account and calculate thing, uh, them. Um, but most, a lot of the, a lot of times, uh, stoichiometry or this phrase stoichiometry is stressed when we are doing numerical calculations involving chemical reactions, and that's why we didn't really introduce the term until now. Uh, so, what do we mean by calculations involving uh, chemical reactions? Uh, well, um, a good analogy that's often used uh, with stoichiometry is that of cooking or baking or something like that. Um, and so uh, one analogy that I often use is making pizza. Okay, so here's a pizza recipe for a simple um, pizza. Okay, we get a crust, and we got some sauce, and some cheese. Okay, you put those together, bake them, and you get a pizza. Okay, but let's turn this into, instead of a pizza recipe, let's think of this as a pizza reaction. All right, if you have one crust and five ounces of sauce, plus two cups of cheese, you can combine them to make, to produce, one pizza. And for this, you can um, really see what we mean by reaction. When I read it like this, it looks like a, almost like a balanced chemical equation. We've got our reactants, the crust, the sauce, and the cheese. We've got our pizza. And uh, the, the ratios, or how much we need of each, those are, would be my uh, coefficients to my balanced chemical equation. Now, um, we could ask a lot of questions about this pizza recipe or for this pizza equation. We could ask questions like, all right, so if I want to make three pizzas, how much sauce do I need? All right. Well, you could easily look at that and see the ratios for every one pizza I need, I, ha, I want, I need five ounces of sauce. And if I need three pizzas, that's 15 ounces of sauce. Okay, that's pretty easy. But what we're really doing uh, very quickly in our head is we're doing a conversion. We're using the equality, the relationship between the amount of sauce and the amount of pizza to figure out how much sauce I need. So I can say, think, okay, if I, if I have three pizzas, all right, and I want to know how many ounces of sauce, well, I can create a conversion factor that shows the relationship between the sauce uh, and the pizza. So for every one pizza, I need five ounces of sauce. And so now we can see that three times five, and that's where we get my 15. And of course, my pizza is canceled out, and I'm left with the units I want, my sauce, to figure out. And so, um, even though that's a really easy equation, or really easy calculation to do in our head, this is what we're really doing. We're using the relationship uh, between the ounces of sauce and pizza to figure out how much I need. And if I put it like this as a conversion factor, this is you know where the analogy uh, eventually leads us to stoichiometry, this is how I'm going to calculate uh, very similar types of calculations involving a chemical equation. All right? And we can do this for any of the relationships. Okay, I can do it between the reactants and products, between sauce and pizza, cheese and pizza, or I can ask them about the reactants. Okay, Let's say I have 20 cups of cheese. How much sauce do I need to make as many pizzas as I can? So then we would just use the relationship between the uh, cups of cheese and the sauce to figure out the answer to that question. And so when we ask these questions, like how much of the you know, ingredients do I need or how much of the pizza that I can make, I'm really asking stoichiometric calculations. And the same thing 
um, the same types of questions can be asked for chemical reactions. How much reactant do I need to make so much product? Or if I uh, have uh, this amount of reactant, how much of another reactant do I need to make so much product? Uh, and that is, in essence, stoichiometry. All right, so let's take a look at an actual chemical equation. So here we have uh, another recipe. Instead of making pizza, we're making CO2 and water. And this is an uh, um, you know, uh, equation for the metabolism of glucose. So this is glucose. C6H12O6. All right. Reacting with oxygen, produce CO2 and water. All right. And so we could ask a lot of qu equations about, or questions about this. But in this one, what do we want to know? We want to know how many moles of water um, we uh, are going to pr produce or made if we metabolize 0.1 moles of glucose. Okay? And so essentially uh, what we're doing is asking how much pizza we can make from so much sauce. And, but instead of pizza uh, and sauce, we're making water and our sauce is glucose. Okay? But it's the same type of question. All right, so we're going to use a conversion factor. And so, as usual, I'm going to write down what units I want for my final answer. And so how many moles of water do I need? Okay, so my final answer should be moles of water. All right. And I'm going to start off with my 0 0.1 moles of glucose. All right, and so how am I going to convert between moles of glucose and moles of water? Well, just like the pizza, I'm going to look at the relationship of my recipe. My sauce and pizza relationship was defined by five ounces of sauce for every one pizza. Well, that relationship for glucose and water is in the balanced chemical equation. So you've got our coefficients. And the balanced chemical equation says that for every one mole of glucose, I'm going to make six moles of water. That's what the coefficients of a balanced chemical equation are. It shows us the molar relationship of uh, the, any one of the um, substances in a reaction, whether it be reactants or products. Okay, and so what I can do is I can build that into a conversion vector. Okay, for every one mole of glucose, I'm going to make six moles of water. And of course, that means my moles of glucose cancel out, and I'm left with moles of water, which is what I wanted for my final answer. And so this is pretty easy. 0.1 times 6 is going to be 0 0.60 moles of water. All right, and that's, the, you know, at the heart of stoichiometry, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look to the balanced chemical equation and look at those coefficients and come up with a ratio, a conversion factor, based on that relationship. We could have asked questions about how much uh, oxygen would I need to uh, metabolize that much glucose. Or I could have asked about carbon dioxide. Or I could have asked, okay, if I'm going to make so much water, how much carbon dioxide am I going to make? So we're, in any one of those cases, all I'm doing is looking at the coefficients uh, to determine the molar relationship between those two substances.